Listen, when I say that my husband will literally hold me down through pretty much anything, uh, I'm not just talking about whether I'm male or female. I've literally seen firsthand scenarios in which my husband stayed with me and even I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, same with me. Like, I love my husband through thick and thin, but uh, I got some examples with him. Nothing like serious, you know what I mean? I've never cheated. I've never done anything like that. But there have been a couple of situations that I've observed um, that even I was like, what the fuck? You're still here? I got a comment on one of my last videos, they're like, yeah, because he's desperate. Desperate? Have you seen my husband? I got all these people all the time, like, you need to repent, you need to save yourself. Baby, my husband isn't worth going to hell for, amen. I would climb that tree all the way up just to get rejected if that tree was my fine-ass husband. <laughs> I mean, what can you say about him? He's fat. Oh, I know, because everybody prays that their boyfriend will just get a lot smaller. <laughs> But anyways, here are two different scenarios besides my detransition, transition, blah, 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 in which my husband stuck by me and even I was, like, just flabbergasted. Okay, so when my husband and I first started, like, dating in person, like, he was actually, like, coming down to, like, visit me on the weekends, he would always sit in the same chair all the time and nobody sits in that chair except my husband. That was his spot. Um, he was the only one that used to sit in it. Well, one day, and this is, like, after he's been visiting my family and I for a while, um, I sat in the chair I think because I had to like fix the TV and like see it at a certain angle or something. And from that chair, you just happen to be able to see all the way behind the TV. And my ass don't clean behind the TV. Yeah, I dust weekly or something. My house is lived in. It's a real home. Cry about it. I don't know. Anyways, I hadn't looked behind there in a long time because you could only see that angle if you move the entire TV or you were sitting in that chair. Well, I look and... Honestly, it looks like there's a big wad of dookie behind the TV. That's what that's what it looks like I'm seeing. So I'm like real grossed out. I'm like, what? But it, like at this time, my kid is like four or five years old. So honestly, that it could have been dookie. I get closer and I get the the courage to pick it up. Okay, I could lie to you and say I had a tissue, but I really don't think I did. And luckily, it wasn't what I thought it was. It was like I don't know. It was either like bunched up old raisins or like some type of jam or something but it a hundred percent looked like a small pile of shit i asked my husband i'm like did you see this before like did you see this before this moment he's like yeah i saw it all the time when i sat there i'm like how come you didn't say anything now my family were fucking weird okay I collect weird shit. My son, like, he has some special interests. He's autistic, and he really gets into, like, very particular things. So you know what this dude says to me? He's like, I thought it was, like, a sentimental dingleberry or something. I'm like, a sentimental dingleberry? You thought that I kept a pile of shit because it meant something to me? He's like, I don't know. I wasn't going to ask questions. And he was still gonna pursue me he thought i knew i had a small pile of shit there for possibly sentimental reasons and he was still digging it he was still into me oh but i got another one i clean my ears with q-tips i know you're not supposed to i'm gonna go deaf everything watch now i really will but i do and every time i do it i take a clean q-tip right i lick the end of it i put it in my ear and i clean it tmi well what do you expect it's my videos one time we're at his house right and uh we just got out of the shower and so um he got q-tips to clean his ears and i'm like oh can i have two and so he gave me two so i could clean mine so i go to lick the end of the q-tip before i put it in my ear and my husband i just saw him this before he was my husband by the way i saw him look at me like and then he went like this and then he like turned the corner but then i chased him around the corner i'm like wait 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 what was that what was that why did you just look at me like that and then just shrug like whatever and then go about your day what was that he's like well i just i just saw you like you know eat earwax off of a q-tip i'm like i didn't eat earwax off of a q-tip that was the clean side i was cleaning my ear with it after so in conclusion this dude thought that i literally cleaned my ears with a q-tip had wax on the end ate it like shrek and uh he still would have married me through thick and thin <laughs>